All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm focusing on police stories and specifically the PC version. So I had this one on the back burner for a while and I really want to recover this game because it's excellent and often overlooked. Now, I do believe this is available on Nintendo Switch and PS4 also, but I went with the superior version, that being the PC version, because mouse control here is essential for accuracy and also it includes a raft of updates since the game launched in 2019. So, what is Police Story, you might ask? Well, it reminds me a lot of Hotline Miami mixed with SWAT 4, if that makes any sense. Now, the reason I mention Hotline Miami is because of its visual style, and the reason I mention SWAT 4 is it is essentially the tactical gameplay that's involved here. So you move your way through the campaign and setting up your team of two for each mission. You can do mission loadouts, etc. Very similar again to SWAT 4. And then you start the mission, and each mission is story driven. So there's a story delivered in text format at the start and the end of each mission. I don't want to say anything to spoil anything, but it's really well written, although there is no actual voice dialogue, so it's text only, but still very, very well written. So let's take a look at the gameplay, and it's all about the gameplay here. So as I mentioned earlier, got that visual flair and design, something similar to Hotline Miami, but a bit more complex. So essentially, each mission involves you taking on a group of terrorists and the gameplay scenario involves taking out your enemies without harming hostages and where feasible actually arresting as many suspects as possible. So killing suspects should be your last choice. You always try and shout at the suspects first. If you can get them down the ground, as you can see here, you can arrest them. Uh, you're moving around, picking up the weapons that they've dropped, and you're also finding packages of drugs, etc. Um, and that's stored as evidence. So all of this counts towards the end game score or the end map score in this case. It's got that feel similar to Hotline Miami as well. It's when you die, you just go back to the start of the level again. So it's trial and error in essence. So you were always under this immediate threat. You can die in an instant, but there's also scenarios where I've gotten through a mission without actually shooting anybody. I've managed to arrest everybody. So essentially every time you play a level, it plays out differently. I probably maybe halfway through the campaign right now and it takes me about maybe 15 to 20 goals on each level in order to get a decent score to actually be able to move on to the next level. And it's a learning curve as well, so you get better over time. A bit of repetition in regards to how you manage the suspects. You never really know who's going to be in behind the door. It's a random scenario, as I said, and each time you play the level, it does feel randomized and absolutely different every single time you play it. So ultimately, it's adding a real level of suspense considering the random nature of each mission every time you play it. Very, very well done, very well executed. Most importantly as well, just to go back to the reason I chose the PC version, controls. Controls are essential in this. Uh, very, very smooth. So you move your character with WASD, and as I said, you use your mouse to aim specifically at suspects. So reaction times are key. And essentially in this case, I absolutely found the PC controls the best in this scenario. I tested out the Switch version somewhat and it uses the analogs. It's okay, it's definitely playable, but again, I don't feel you get that quick responsiveness and accuracy that you need to do really, really well in this game if you want to start getting top scores. So you can see here as well when you finish a mission, it gives you a grade, an overall grade, and it shows the penalties and bonuses. So they add to your score. So the more penalties you have, such as civilian down, officer injured, they subtract to your, from your overall score and your grading. And you need a specific grading to move on to the next missions, depending on what mission follows. So guys, that's really it for today's video. A quick overview of Police Stories, an underrated game from 2019. I always enjoy these early access or Kickstarter ones that have genuinely good devs behind them. And when they get the right back in, they deliver on some excellent games. And this one was, was one of those success stories as well. So really, really worth your time. And uh, I got this very reasonable on Steam. I got it during a sale. I think it was only like a fiver or something for me. So one to add to your Steam wish list if you pick it up on a sale. But even if you don't pick it up on a sale, it's only like 14 99 So very reasonably priced considering the level of quality available here. But anyway, guys, that's it for me from another video. 
As always, if you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of the approach. I'm always finding, trying to find ways to improve. Appreciate the support as always, guys, and thank you for watching.